All right, welcome back to Rick's Radio Conversions. Today we have Steven's Mustang 2 AM FM cassette uh, player. And we're doing a mid build video just to kind of show Steven what's going on and also to show some viewers. This is the first cassette we've ever done. Um, so right now I took up the Frank, the tank over there. Uh, Frankenstein's got all the wires coming out. The tuner's hooked up, the band, uh, AM FM switch is hooked up uh, you can't see it and we'll kind of do some panning around here that's the uh, volume control tone control eject switch and on off switch and we'll talk about that in a minute and then we have the cassette player uh, the cassette player itself um, uh, it was pretty pretty dirty on the inside a well used uh, eight, uh, cassette player I almost said 8 track there uh, well well used uh, but we managed to get it all cleaned up um and it's working fairly well right now uh it's a well-used unit so if you have brand new cassettes you're better to use those um we had a couple of used cassettes that we're using as testing and they weren't playing really well just because of the wear on the actual cassette player itself um so we've retained the motor speed control board and the motor put a new belt in it uh we've put a uh the preamp board in and we've put an audio switch in as well to change the audio from cassette to the aux input which we'll talk about here in a little bit so uh, right now um, tune is working great over here uh, the band switch works so now we're in AM there you go AM. Back to FM. Uh, don't get wrapped around these uh, being backwards. Uh, Frank is a, an older unit. Um, he has a facelift, but he has the original heart, the original chip in it, and it's pretty old, and uh, it was designed to only switch with a grounded switch in AM, so... Um, unfortunately, yours is hardwired to always be FM. The newer boards are either or, so don't worry, it'll it'll work as advertised. Uh, let's get over to the cassette player now. So, right now we're listening to the radio, and we're going to put the cassette player in. trouble in there so that's a cassette player playing there's a little bit of a hiss still with it because all of these wires and stuff are not shielded very well so the rewind function works go to rewind and fast forward So all that works, uh, and now we're gonna do the uh, the eject. So there's no faceplate on on this stuff. So when you do the eject, it's kind of violent. Um, what you'll do is, and we'll do this in the final video, but uh, the volume switch you push that in, and that's what sends the ground uh, over to the uh, the eject sequence over here. And we'll get to another song here. So this is the eject sequence uh, wire. So all it is is a ground. Let me turn this down. 51. Boom, there it goes. So that's kind of how all that works there, Stephen. Uh, like I said, we're moving along. Uh, some things we got to talk about uh, is... 
So the original radio uh, had an LED in here, and it was uh, either yellow for uh, yellow for stereo lock or red for I think tape player. So unfortunately, I think we're only going to be able to work in one position, which is going to be either yellow, red. We can do green. We can also even put the status light um, in there as well to where it would be uh, yellow for FM, uh, green for aux, red for AM, and then uh, blue for the Bluetooth. We could do that um, if you want, or we can keep it stock and keep the yellow light in there. Uh, I don't know that we can do the yellow and the red for the tape. Um, we're going to look at that a little bit more to see if we can figure out a polarity switcher maybe. Um, but that's it in a nutshell. Uh, things are moving along. And uh, we're going to uh, start cutting everything in here real soon. Uh, this is kind of the first stage which everything works. Uh, you know, as you can see, we've got everything laid out. Um, and then we also, like I said, we use Frankenstein over there to uh, to run everything, make sure everything's good to go, which currently it is. Um, so we're moving along. The uh, the uh, what else we got? So I think that's it. Oh, uh, your your take up sheet said you wanted to have the the wiring exit the factory spot which would have been on the uh, passenger side of the radio down the side the problem is that is too small of a hole um, what we can do is we can punch a hole on either side uh, to run the wiring harness or even out the back if you want and uh, we'll talk more on that on email but uh, that's it for now um, oh and also this also has a fader as well on the on the uh, on the radio which we don't we don't have that hooked up right now just because of because of room um, but we'll hook the fader up as well and that'll give you a front and rear uh, adjustments and uh, that's pretty much it for now thanks and we'll give you next uh, another update later